Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss this example. So here we have A and B are compact subsets of RD where D is a usual distance. And we have to prove that A cross B is a compact subset of R to D with a Euclidean distance. This thing we have to prove. So here we are going to use one result. Okay, so let me mention the result here. In R to D, a set is compact if and only if it is sequentially compact. Getting it is sequentially compact. See, it means every compact set is sequentially compact and every sequentially compact set is compact. Here we have to prove A cross B is compact. So it is enough to prove that the set is sequentially compact. Let me mention here. Therefore, it is enough to prove that A cross B is sequentially compact. Getting? So this is so much important result. Actually, this result is true for R and D, where it is a Euclidean distance, as well as it is true for R D also, where it is a usual distance. So here we are going to prove A cross B is sequentially compact. Sequentially compact means what? Every sequence should have a convergent subsequence. So here what will we do? We will take one sequence and we will prove that it has a convergent subsequence. So let us take one sequence. I'm going to take a sequence of A cross B. Getting? So let us take, uh, let us call it as Zn. Uh, let Zn. So we have a sequence Zn of this A cross B. A cross B so that Zn will look like this. Zn is equal to Xn comma Y. Okay, so the sequence will be like this. Since it is a sequence in A cross B. So the first component will be an elements of A and second component will contain elements of B. B any sequence in A cross B. Okay, so where obviously where Xn belongs to A and y n belongs to b and is true for all n belongs to set of natural number okay so we have this space let us use okay so let me remove this part okay see uh, that means xn is a sequence of points of a and y n is a sequence of points of b so let me mention here here Xn is a sequence in A. But see, a very important information is given to us that is, A is compact sequence in A and A is compact in RD. Okay, where D is a usual distance. But we know that every compact set is sequentially compact. So that's why A is compact implies A is also sequentially compact. So let me mention implies A is sequentially compact. Getting? What is meaning of sequentially compact set? Sequentially compact means every sequence should have convergent subsequence. So here we have a sequence Xn. So it will have a convergent subsequence. So let me mention here implies Xn has convergent subsequence. Okay, so Xn has convergent subsequence in A. See, it has a convergent subsequence. So let us call it as Xnk. Say Xnk. So it is convergent. It means it converges to some point. So let us call it as X. So the sequence is convergent in A. It means X belongs to A. Okay. So here we had a two sequences Xn and Yn. So Xn, I wrote the, uh, this thing for sequence Xn. So same thing we can write for sequence Yn also. So let us write. So here, here Yn. Okay, so Yn, second component, that means it is a sequence of points of B. Here Yn is a sequence of or sequence of, I should mention, points of B. And the most important thing is the given information that is B is compact. 
सो वाइन इज द सिक्वेंस ऑफ पॉइंट ऑफ बी एंड बी इज कॉम्पैक्ट सो वी आर फैमिलियर विथ रिजल्ट दैट इज एवरी कॉम्पैक्ट सेट इज सिक्वेंशियली कॉम्पैक्ट सो दैट्स वाई बी इज ऑल्सो सिक्वेंशियली कॉम्पैक्ट इम्प्लाइज बी इज सिक्वेंशियली कॉम्पैक्ट सिक्वेंशियली कॉम्पैक्ट मीन्स वॉट एवरी सिक्वेंस शुड हैव अ कॉन्वर्जेंट सब सिक्वेंस हियर वी हैव अ सिक्वेंस वाइन ऑफ पॉइंट ऑफ बी सो इट विल हैव ऑल्सो कॉन्वर्जेंट सब सिक्वेंस लेट मी राइट इम्प्लाइज वाइन हैज कॉन्वर्जेंट सब सिक्वेंस इन बी सो वाइन हैज अ कॉन्वर्जेंट सब सिक्वेंस सो लेट एस कॉल इट एज वाइन के से वाइन के सो इट इज कॉन्वर्जेंट इट मीन्स इट कॉन्वर्जेस टू सम पॉइंट सो लेट एस कॉल इट एज वाई इट कॉन्वर्जेस टू वाई ऑब्वियसली वाई इज इन बी ओके मेक अ स्क्रीन शॉट ऑफ इट देन वी विल गो फर्दर सो लेट एस कंक्लूड इट नाउ सो हियर वी गेट अ सिक्वेंस एक्स एन के विच कॉन्वर्जेस टू एक्स विच इज पॉइंट ऑफ ए सिक्वेंस वाइन के कॉन्वर्जेस टू वाई विच इज पॉइंट ऑफ बी so if you combine them so we will have the sequence xn k comma yn k which converges to xy which which will be the point of a cross b so let me write here therefore therefore sequence xn k comma yn k so xn k converges to x yn k converges to y so xn k comma yn k converges to xy obviously it is an element of a cross b since x is in a and y is in b so basically we started with a sequence xn comma y and here we got xn k comma y k it means it is a subsequence of that original sequence xn comma y so we can mention we can call it as zn k since the original sequence was zn so therefore therefore zn k okay so that sequence which is uh, xn k comma yn k i should mention here yn k converges to xy belongs to a cross b so it means zn k is a convergent subsequence of original sequence zn which is convergent in a cross b so therefore therefore that zn k is convergent subsequence it is a convergent subsequence of what original sequence of zn and converges in a cross b see we started with any arbitrary sequence zn of a cross b and we got it has a convergent subsequence so this thing is true for any sequence of a cross b then so therefore let us conclude so therefore therefore see for any arbitrary sequence zn of a cross b we got a convergent subsequence so therefore we can write therefore for any for any sequence in a cross b has convergent subsequence if you take any sequence of a cross b then you will have definitely a convergent subsequence so this is nothing but definition of sequentially compact matrix space or sequentially compact set so therefore we can declare a cross b is sequentially compact make a screenshot of it then i will go further so therefore we can declare therefore therefore a cross b is sequentially compact sequentially compact in r2d getting it is sequentially compact in r2d but we know that in r2d every sequentially compact set is compact so therefore we can declare a cross b is compact therefore a cross b is compact okay compact in r2d so in this way we proved if you have any set a and another set b which are compact in r with usual distance then a cross b is also compact in r2d where d is a euclidean distance so make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you see you